my name is Melissa Mumbi. Um, I scored 102 points. I was the top one in my school. But during my primary school in this thing, my dad passed on in 2009. I was in, when I was in class six, it really affected me because um, he just passed on suddenly. That's when now life started taking a turn on us and we had all these sorts of issues. We had to move. Dad was the sole provider. So, and mom didn't work at that time. And also my sister and Jerry, she had to take care of her because she's autistic and everything. So it was very difficult for me. Every day I would come back home and cry because we would lack food sometimes. Our furniture was taken by auctioneers. In my education, teachers started noticing how I started dropping. So they would call me once in a while and, and give me advice. Then the major issue came up when my mom couldn't afford the fees. So from class seven, Till I finished school in this spring, the committee from this spring was the one that was taking care of me. She was able to do well in her KCP. She scored 402, and uh, we were very encouraged because it was uh, hard work for her and through a lot of prayers. So from there is when the challenges began because I didn't know what to do next. We planned for a fundraising. Unfortunately, nobody turned up. It was really discouraging, like she tried everything. And then she was um, told by a friend of hers about equity. Then we went and took the forms and we prayed. I didn't expect to be called honestly because we were so many people. Then I just had Kimwere. I'm not used to being called by, by, my, by my surname. So at that time, I didn't even think it was me. That's when it all dawned on us that I'd gotten the scholarship. So from then, they've, they've been sponsoring me from Form 1 to Form 4. They were giving me pocket money, shopping, they were mentoring us. We used to go for mentorship in, for diff in different places, congresses, mostly Kasarani, where we were told how we would survive with the different problems that would come about in high school. If it wasn't for equity, Honestly, I do not know where I would be right now. I really do not know. Prayer always gave me this conviction. If you want something so bad, the whole world will conspire to give it to you. So I never really thought about my not getting the scholarship or my not going to high school. I just always had this conviction and I prayed. As a girl, I have also seen her transform it from a young a little girl to a lady of substance. I have a lot of hope in her abilities and I believe she's a girl that is going to go far. She's the right person to secure such a, a chance because when she was with us in school, she'd always reach out to help the other students. So I believe that the knowledge she's going to get from there will come back and serve our country in a great way. Discussions really help and don't look down upon anyone. Anyone can help you, anyone. Your talk, even your, there's something that the last person in your class knows that you do not know. The Wings to Fly program is a very good program. I know it identifies girls or students from needy backgrounds and assists them to get a good education. It's commendable that they are reaching out to these needy students and assisting the girls to get an education. I've really got to understand it much better because from what she had experienced, what now she is, is different and that gives me hope. I really feel proud, especially I have that now great chance. If I really work hard, I know that my hard work will not just go like that. It will be, it will be, it's like being paid for my hard work and it's, it gives me more motivation. After high school, when I got my A, um, Equity Bank took us, the people who had A's, and were wings to fly and also the top in districts. We were pre-universities. We were allowed to intern um, at our nearest banks and we were also paid. And from there, I was able to, to get pocket money to help my family out. That really helped me. And also I wasn't idle because at that period of time after high school, that's when people start getting into drugs and all that stuff because they're idle. Through my working at the bank, because we used to market, I had to talk to all sorts of people. So I learned tolerance, I learned how to deal with all sorts of people. As pre-universities, we were, we were mentored. They brought people who had already gone ahead of us. Um, they taught us 
how we would do the exams, the SATs, how we would study for them. They taught us how to write essays, how we should we should express ourselves through those essays. I'm going to the University of British Columbia in Canada under the MasterCard scholarship and I want to pursue biochemistry under the Faculty of Science.